I could have used 10. I could have used 10, but I guess I'll take 9. You like that for shtick? I'm not salty. I'm not. I'm really not. Welcome to Halo Chat. Halo Chat. Hi, everybody, and welcome again to another episode of Halo Chat, our penultimate episode, because this is the discussion of the season finale, episode nine, Transcendence. And then we'll do our we'll do our final overall season review, and that will kind of wrap up season one of Halo Chat, and then we'll move on to whatever's next. So if you do have any suggestions, drop them in the comments. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Uh, it's mm. the same thing. And go back There's, and rewatch follow everything. Follow and subscribe is, and and then rewatch everything three times over. And then go we back and get yeah. to that. Uh, Especially <laughs> on the TikTok again, the TikTok the channel series, the little, what do you call that? The playlist? Is that called the playlist yeah. on TikTok? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think it's that playlist. shit is awesome. I love it. Well, thank you. I haven't added any videos to that playlist since the last go time ahead, you, go you ahead and commended get your, the playlist. Go ahead and get I yourself to, some Halo chat playlist. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. I need to go back. I'm and, literally going to share that today. Now that we're working on the season finale, uh, good. You you should. And if you have anything positive to drop in my comments, please, for the love of God, what? please. There's positivity because the, in the, the comments. I, I, need, I need some positivity. We're talking now. to you. We're talking to you, the person, the individual watching this slash listening to this right now. Oh, we're if talking you to you. Don't excessively hate the Halo. I don't even care if you like it. I don't even care if you like it. Just say something other than shows trash. This shows trash. <laughs> like, cause I, like, I can't. I can't debate. It. I can't. I can't have a conversation with that, with that argument I anymore. I can't. This is this is wild. But I mean, this episode. I told you. I told you earlier. Like, like when I watched it, that I have opinions on this episode. Mm -hmm. I don't think. We'll we'll get to our official review at the end. Yeah, of like, like we always do. I wasn't However, sure I, what you meant by opinions. Cause... I was just disappointed. I think, okay. and I think right. I think that's because I was expecting something else. Um, um, all right. Well, I mean, we've talked about it previously. Right. You know, I was expecting the the fall of reach yeah, the which didn't happen yeah. spoiler alert the the glassing of yeah. reach or, but then i was also worried at the idea of that happening because i didn't want them to like i didn't want them to rush to that but i right. had this image in my mind where it was like they like you know they would rush through it somehow yeah i opened up the episode i saw that it was only like 40 minutes and i was like eh, oh that's here not we go time. yeah and then <laughs> And, like, I had the image in my mind that, like, the last shot of season one would be, like, the Pillar of Autumn. I know. For whatever reason. Yeah. Coming up to the ring. And, right. like, that would be, like... And then fades like, into black and we hear forward. Sergeant Johnson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That would have been... And it, that would have been awesome. It's just... It's that just that didn't happened. happen. And I just, like... I think that the episode, for a finale, wasn't great you know right. what i mean like it wasn't it wasn't terrible no it like wasn't i didn't think it was all. bad and well and again we'll talk about like my official score right but like yeah i just i just felt a little disappointed right is, is my my opinion so all right well let's to, to yeah, start we'll, out we'll get to the we'll get to our uh our rating we'll, we'll we'll elaborate more on that but we'll do the uh we're, st we're still doing the scene, by the uh, what, I'm, what I'm talking about, the story, story by story. Yeah, we'll do scene we'll scene? do scene by scene because again, we're think the creators, think the forerunners. That think that the again, profits. there's no Mackie, which I don't like. I, I like it makes it even worse. Yeah. <laughs> like like whatever. There's no yeah. Mackie in this, and it's just Chief and mm -hmm. essentially like the Reach storyline. It's Chief and Halsey and Miranda right. essentially. So so the way I have it set up right now is going to be scene by scene. Um, but you know what? I want from our listeners slash viewers, mm -hmm. drop your score in the comments below. That's not something that we've done. We've we've asked you oh, your thoughts. I like that. But at this point in the video, drop down into the comments how many 
out of 10. You know, you know how it works. You know Let how us it know works. what you think because I'll be curious to see before we go through our discussion what you guys think right. just right off the bat. And if you want to, after we go through our entire discussion, if for whatever reason your score has changed after hearing us talk about it, do like a little reply and do do a second score because that would be interesting to yeah. see too if, if it changes. Reply to yourself. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reply to yourself. Um, but we, we the, this episode starts off right off the back of the previous episode where Mackie has touched the relic. And, you know, previously we yes. both kind of assumed that the touching of the relic would signal the covenant and the covenant would come to reach and, you know, whatever. But right. that doesn't happen. She just takes no. it. Um, yeah, and it also, like, causes a lot of chaos and devastation yeah. i mean yeah. it's like a because nuke went off I, I mean i that was i i can't, I can't remember if the, if it was as bad as the last time when when it when it broke or was that was that different it's it's like um it was like one of those scenarios where they uh where you're like like that that conversation about watching the man of steel and how uh you know how much trashing the city <laughs> happened yeah. like that's that's how i felt I was like, I was like, how the how the hell did so much damage happen from just a touch? If you recall, remember, remember we had the one episode where Halsey was like talking about the relic, and she was like, it seems to know what John wants or whatever in that in that moment. So, right. and and uh, then we made the joke about it being a magic I lamp, see. a magic genie lamp. In that moment, Mackie, yeah. oh, Mickey, oh, okay. was really like pissed off. Yeah. I guess Mickey. at humanity, and the yeah. thing that she needed in that moment was like yeah, she devastation. Just to hurt them. So I think somehow that right. that factors oh, into okay. it. All right. Well, that literally that makes the, sense. like like that's that's. <laughs> if you explain it to me that way, it makes <laughs> yeah. sense. It's like it's like some people are going <laughs> to see that as an excuse. I think judging from from the the feedback that I get, <laughs> but. Like I don't right. like I don't know, man. Like it's just like putting two and two together based on previous yeah. information. Well, that, they know? they they did explain it in that in that way. So I you know I'm I am more accepting now of that of the devastation it caused, with with the idea that it gives the person touching it you know like the magic lamp you know it gives them the wish, and she was like remembering the the pain of being beaten right. by a human and getting tased by mm -hmm. that yeah. dude. And uh, um, yeah. that being oh, yeah. said, I thought it was a little weird that it like it did devastate the surrounding like area, including where Chief and, and everybody were were fighting. But yeah. Miranda wasn't exploded. She was, you know, what I mean, perfectly fine. Yeah, she was like, yeah, she was perfectly fine. Not a scratch on her. But yeah, Mackie, Mackie just takes the relic, um, holds a gun to a marine's face, and who instantaneously like, mm -hmm. like this is another like like there were, there was a little a bunch of little things that like just like a little bit irked me. Um, she yeah. like she's like she holds the gun up to the guy's face and she's like, "Tell me yeah. where the Covenant ship is," and he like doesn't even hesitate. <laughs> the right. the trained marine no, on the military base training. was like, yeah, like yeah let me sure, tell I'll you. tell you yeah <laughs> like, like I know the importance of yeah. like I, I probably yeah. well presumably I don't know if it's classified but I presumably know who you are right. and you want to go to the covenant ship like it, it, there should have been a, at least a, yeah. a little bit of hesitation <laughs> a, a little, little bit, bit of a fight yeah um, right so she takes right. it and John gets up and he's gonna go see what what's going on and then Riz and Vanek stop him with um i think i believe kai is there too are they are they holding a gun to kai's head i can't really remember yeah they have kai yes. at gunpoint I think. Uh, yeah i'm trying i'm trying to think of the scene yeah they they have they have her at gunpoint where vanek has kai at gunpoint and riz uh, in for the moment you don't really know where riz is or riz is on the floor or something like that but she eventually pops up with more guns being aimed right yeah yeah so so riz vanek and kai are there and Vanek and Kai are trying to, or Vanek and Riz are trying to get Chief again to come with them. What's interesting to me, I, I, I posted a video uh, previously of the Spartan fight, and we were like, there were like, there was a, a bunch mm -hmm. of like discussion going back and forth on whether or not Chief should have survived. And I was previously under the impression that Halsey yeah. said to take him alive, but he I, did. There's a there's a section did. of I think the flashback, um, mm -hmm. or the, or an earlier point point of the of this episode where Halsey actually elaborates that 
because, or John elaborates later on, because they have Mackie, John is irrelevant. So then Cortana was going to take over John. So their orders were never right. really to take him in alive because there was, there was conflicting, right. like, Just, there, there was like conflicting arguments on, on why Vanek went from like not murdering what him, a, yeah. presumably to take him alive to take the shot in the last episode. And it was because, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, it was I because Halsey doesn't need John anymore if she has McKee, which yeah. she doesn't anymore. Um, so they're sitting right. there, right? They're they're like, come with us, you know, Chief. You're you're, whatever. And yeah. John is like, trying to explain to them what Halsey did, yeah, he's and giving him like speech. finally telling them what's up. And they're not like Riz is kind of believing them. And then Vanek is like, put your gun right. up. Right the whole time. Yeah, the whole time I was, I was. Remember what I had said to you. Vanek Vanek can't handle the truth. Our simple boy. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time when it, when when it, when when Chief was giving out that speech about what you know the reality of the situation. The whole time I'm thinking mm, this guy can't yeah. handle the truth. He's a, he can't poor, handle what he's hearing right now. It's poor total sweet Vanek. bullshit. To poor, him. poor poor sweet Vanek. Vanek. He's just like no. <laughs> <laughs> lift up, lift up your gun. Get your guns, Get your guns up. up. <laughs> and then keys, keys. In in a moment that I didn't think was necessarily going to happen so soon, keys shows up and explains. You yeah. know, he's telling the truth. I was there. Yeah, like, he admits to like right. being a part of. I helped. Yeah, I helped uh, yeah. to being a part of that. Yeah. Um, that yeah. whole scheme of Halsey. The 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 whole program. Um, yeah, I helped place yeah. the clones and pick the. Kids and I thought that was done that. like like the scenario in which it happened was probably better than i imagined it would happen um although it happened a little bit sooner than i expected i i did like how they did it um yeah that he had like a reason to kind of yeah. come clean so that he could bring the spartans right. back together again right yeah it was it was the it was the only way to kind of like you know cal calm that situation down vanek was about to blow yeah. a hole in kai's and, head and they you know they they come back together which which is great um i was expecting I wasn't expecting that to go so fast. I'm glad that it did, though, because we we love to see our Spartans. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then, and then Kai's oh, like, yeah. "I'm gonna go get Halsey. You go get Mackie. <laughs> I'm gonna go kick Halsey's yeah. ass." <laughs> yeah. So she runs yeah. off, and then we see Halsey yeah. and uh, and she... Kiss Kiss Boy on the on the on the ship <clears throat> oh, and, and kiss kiss boy's boy. like we have to leave we have to leave and halsey's like not until i find out what happens yeah. meanwhile like there's like an entire battalion of marines <laughs> aiming at the ship I'm, like what right. does she think is going to happen they're all yeah they're all about to blow and, the shit out of the sky yeah before he even and takes kiss off. kiss boy is like we have the package we have options and i was like what on earth yeah. could he possibly be talking about and we know what he's talking about i don't yeah. well, well i guess we'll get to it when we when we get to it we won't spoil it but but the entire when time i was like it. i was like trying to like speculate what he could be talking about because i do remember him moving like the yeah, big what the fuck he's talking about like, right container and i was like i was like mm -hmm. what could it be like like is it like a clone of yeah. cheat like like what what type of crazy thing could it be right and What's, what, in, the what's box, in the box? And then, so they what's take in the off. Box? And I really, really liked this little snippet, even though like it looked, it looks like any any scene that's like completely CGI. Um, Spartan looks a little wonky. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. There was, there was a, a lot, lot of that this episode, episode and that's that's a huge part of my like mm -hmm. disappointment. I think um, compared to the first right. episode when we were like really arguing for the CGI of the show, like for the most part, it's been yeah. like, it's been pretty yeah. good for the most part, but they are completely yeah. incapable of like animating realistic superhuman movement. I think that might be why, because yeah. it's so it's, uncanny Valley yeah, that it's, it's like, uh, it's just, it's just yeah. not working. Well, <clears throat> the reason why, yeah, the reason why it's hard for me to like accept it is because when you see the actors in their armor, they're yeah. very mm -hmm. stiff. It is so yep. stiff, these actors yep. in the armor. And so then when you see the CGI of the Spartans moving, it's just like a totally Absolutely. different, you know, it's it's like watching, you know, you, you can tell it's CGI, not not just from the looks of it, but... Yeah, they look like little wacky, wavy, inflatable arm flailing tube men sometimes. You know what I mean? Right, um, right, right. Yeah. So we had so so yeah. So you're getting to the, uh, <laughs> the, sprint. To the sprint. I did really like like as like it looked wonky, but I love seeing like the betrayal yeah. of Spartan augmentation. I think so. Seeing like Kai oh, like yeah. do the yeah. like super Spartan sprint, jump yeah. up onto the ship. Yeah. 
like like yeah that's like it was it was beautiful i I love love seeing that this is obviously post reach halo 4 halo 5 they've unlocked sprint yeah Yeah, Yeah, she's got that in her loadout yep um (laughs) <laughs> right and and she like she like shoots the engines or whatever she does and then she like slams her way into the yeah. ship which i also thought was really cool yeah, she like, but then what that what yeah the f does she do immediately upon yeah. confronting halsey she fucking kills oh she doesn't Gizmoy. that's not the first thing she does but that is that, that, well, the, that's first not the first thing, thing she, she does, does but, is she takes but, off but, her helmet which again i can i have yeah. argued so many times <laughs> Sorry, I, I know I jumped the gun like, there, but I've been, I've been waiting, waiting for, for I've been waiting for us to talk about this guy to talk getting about his kiss, kiss boy. Oh my god! Split. But you're right. But like, <laughs> but like, I've been I've been arguing so hard about the helmet thing, like being completely irrelevant. Yeah. That being said, let me say it on record right now. We've we've discussed it before. Say it. I do believe that the Halo TV series removes helmets too often in certain scenarios. Once you're in the armor. <clears throat> given uh, assuming assume yeah. we yeah. talked about it in episode two i think maybe three when he's on aridness yeah. and he, like instantaneously takes off his helmet mm-hmm. yeah well again my my whole thing with this is that she takes off the helmet again because she's asking really really heart-wrenching questions she's literally shouting who am i what am i what's my real name and i, I just think to, to 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 defend the helmet coming off um it's it's the same argument you can't you can't you have to see the person's face who has no idea who they are and you can only act that so much with your body language and i know i know that's been like that's been the the rebuttal is you should be able to act that with your body language but it's a person in a spartan suit they're already pretty clunky and when you're getting into scenarios like that where she's pleading to her creator to just give her a name i think you i think it it deserves the helmet coming off but i i i get your you know i get what you're saying that it's it's like no i i I 100 percent agree with that um in that in that the theme is every single time there's ever a moment of emotion i guess like she took her helmet off when she was pleading yeah. to to uh vanik and riz about john in the previous episode yeah they take their helmet off when they're like discussing heart to heart about what she mm-hmm. did with john and kai mm-hmm. like every every time there's a moment <clears throat> that a serious conversation needs to be had yeah. they take their helmets off because they want to show their faces i they understand take their that. helmets off right but like right, they in this connect. specific scenario like it's like they're it's like they're trying to make it easy for people that don't like that advocate against the helmet thing because immediately she gets bonked in the back of the head by kiss kiss boy with a wrench who yeah. thank god <laughs> yo it was the best part of the entire season to see kiss kiss that boy was, absolutely yeah. demolished yeah. by kai i've been wait oh Correct. my god i've been waiting yeah. for that guy yeah that get- that couldn't that couldn't have been any better she she just picked him up and literally threw yeah, him into the ceiling wild. that was like i was so happy <laughs> But like, what did you think was gonna happen? You you helped create these freaking yeah, things, yeah. probably. Like you know, you know like, what I mean. Like, what did you, you think was gonna happen? Hitting weak, the Spartan little, in the back of the little, head. Little, little spaghetti arm kiss yeah. kiss boy is gonna do anything. Right. What did you think was like? How did you <laughs> think be this fair, was gonna though, happen? Or how did you think? To it be would fair though, play out? his his demolishing gave way to Halsey being able to <laughs> run on her little old lady legs all the way to the escape yeah. pod, which is well, funny. Which is funny because she she's really done that has. a lot. She like, like, that's like, a, that's like, <laughs> that's like a, a Halsey move. The old, the old runaway, you know. And she, and the last, last thing you see is her like cloak <laughs> whipping behind her as she's, as she's running through yeah. and the doors closing. Like that's that's yeah. happened so often. And I don't know. Maybe it's maybe that's just like the the brains of Halsey, right? <laughs> she sees a moment of opportunity yeah. to leave the most efficient opportunity to get the hell out of the room of yeah, the man. rampaging she's like, Spartan. Uh, she's like Batman. You know how... You, she's about the only person that seems yeah. to know the possibility. You know, how, like, you know how like Batman, every single time you turn away from him, and then you turn back, he's gone? Halsey's yeah, per- he's her gone. perfected the, <laughs> the Batman escape. <laughs> she has perfected yeah. the Batman. <laughs> so she escapes, she goes down, she, goes, she gets into the escape pod, which 
again is cool to see because it's the you know it's the typical UNSC yeah. escape pod that we'd love to see and the whole entire ship crashes and I'm like oh my god they're going to kill Kai but yeah I guess she yeah. makes she makes it out alive from the devastating crash which yeah, is like whatever a, I guess a good old Spartan like, save yeah, well, I was, I was the whole time I was like, if we're not seeing her die, exactly. She's not yeah, dead. if you don't and see them like, physically die, I'm not really sure how she's going to yeah. survive it. It's like, um, right? I'm not, I'm not sure how she's going to survive it, but I know we're going to see for, her in the next few minutes. And yeah, then sure man, enough, for sure. That hand. It's like, um, it's like in, in like Game of Thrones or something, you know, where it's like, it's like if you don't, exactly, or, or Walking exactly Dead. Walking Dead's a better example. If you don't mm-hmm. literally see one, them yeah. getting eaten, they're alive. Yeah. You don't see the yeah. life leave and their some, eyes. And some people, yeah. you know what that is? They're they're alive. <laughs> in, and again, to, I'm what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing devil's advocate for for this because I know I feel like you really enjoy the episode, <laughs> which is fine. And and I like I didn't I didn't I hate did. it, but I didn't love it. Um, but that is an, a great example of just like plot armor. You know what I mean? Like the the yeah, the, the Spartans armor, right? <laughs> presumably are just like completely invincible at this point because it's too early in the story to to kill any of them, I guess. Right. Right. Yeah, you can't yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't there there will be a t- there will come a time oh, for when sure. you lose a Spartan, but it's not going to be because the Spartan crashed in a in a you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Plane yeah. coming down. I do wish that we had seen her like in like I, like I don't know if we're meant to assume that she jumped out of the ship, but that would have been a cool scene. Like if she like punched mm-hmm. through, like she did yeah, to come oh, yeah. down and like oh, jumped yeah. she's out. Just, like, but I kicked the door open and blasted her way yeah, out. Yeah, that, that would have been, been totally awesome, awesome. awesome. You know, they had to be, <laughs> they had to do the. Leave it to your imagination how yeah. Kai escaped. And then and then you get the close up of John's face and he's like, mm, Cortana, I'm gonna need you now. <laughs> and it's like, yes, yeah. sir, chief. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right, right. Uh, her chipper attitude in in <laughs> yeah. the worst cases. Sure, sure, chief. Let's do it. Let's do it. So the next the next major plot point is that chief and everybody, you mm-hmm. know, they're all suited up and they're ready to find the Covenant homeworld. Yeah, which I'm pretty sure. Correct me in the comments if I'm incorrect about this. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but the oh, oh they I, will they will. Um, but oh, correct me will. if I'm wrong. But I believe the idea of a quote unquote covenant home world is one of the major changes to Halo Canon. Because I think previously, part of the oh, reason why we were unable to find the covenant home world was because the, the like quote unquote covenant home world was high charity. And high charity is like a ship, you know? Um, right. And they, they showed right, high charity. Right, right. So I thought, I thought when. M- Mickey yeah. last episode was talking about the Covenant homeworld. I thought she was like trying to trick him. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I thought it was like a trap. Like find this place and then yeah. and we've set up a trap yeah. for, for Chief. And then she gave the little little <laughs> poem for the stars yeah. made of glass. I did or whatever think that was. that was kinda cool. Like like I did, but it I it kinda sucks because I, I I missed that. I I don't know what why I missed it, but when he was explaining like what she had said to him, I was like, Oh, I don't remember that. But then, you know, as the little, you know, chief doing his little invest investigative work, uh, I did I did like how they used that little um, descript you know description to find the the hidden planet, or right? The hidden right, home. right, yeah. And I I mean, it was all like it was all like um, sci-fi buzzwords or, or whatever, you know, like the 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 light refractions right, or whatever right. from like gravity wells and whatever. Yeah. I, like it's true though. Yeah. Like like you yeah. know. So Yo, so it, it was true, yeah. cool. But you're talking about Cortana yeah, explaining, like explaining, explaining the, you know, the concept. What, 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 did, what did he ask her? What are the what's the yeah, gravity yeah. look like? Yeah, he was like he was like what does the gravity look like? And I thought it was going to be like yeah, kind of right, like in, um, yeah. You I, I, I know you're not a huge Star Wars guy, but like in episode 2, I think Obi-Wan's like talking like he's trying to find the planet where they're doing all the clones and he's like it should be right here. It should be right here, but but nothing. It doesn't say it in the archives. And and Yoda's right. like, mm, what does the gra- the gravity shows? <laughs> and and it's like, oh, the gravity. It yeah. looks like there <laughs> should be a planet right here, but it just says that there isn't. And like I thought that's what yeah. they were gonna do, but it ended up being like, I guess like black right. holes or something, like reflecting light or whatever. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just a just a chaos <laughs> magnet of crap yeah, happening the in space. Yeah, yeah. Kaleidoscope, right? 
Or chaos that, magnet. magnet. No, sick. Just like Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> chaos control. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then they, there was a, like, after they figure out where they're going and they're, like, getting ready to leave, there's, like, the little scene where Keys kind of has, like, a little bit of a heart-to-heart with, with John. And he's, like, trying to, like, you know, yeah, explain his side of it. And he's, like, I, like... Like, I don't expect you to forgive me. Like, I, like he's, like, legitimately... Tr- like, that guy is... Like, he's, like, really killing it. Like, I think his performances have been really, really yeah. good. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's doing great And he really, piece. like, delivered oh God, that yes. sense of, like, I want to yeah. apologize and I want you to know how wholeheartedly... Right. Like, I'm kind of ashamed of yeah. what's going on. And, like, oh, yeah, I those scenes are great. And, oh, my God. John clearly yeah. respects him, too, because he's, like, he's, like... There's gonna be yeah, and that's yeah. why it kind of hurts. You can see the pain in his face. He 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 doesn't want it to be Captain Key. You know he doesn't want Captain Keys to be a part of it. And he kind of made that um, you know he like established how much trust he had in him in the like mm-hmm. very yeah. early on in the series. So it was you know at this point I'm sure it just it was crushing for the character to hear like probably yeah. almost like a father mm-hmm. figure at for this sure. point because you know like I mean? I, I'm pretty sure Keys is probably the last person that was like he had a closer like a close ish relationship to that hadn't yet yeah. betrayed him and there it was. Like right. the Spartans betrayed him. Right. Well this Keys betrayed him. Halsey yeah, betrayed Spartans, him. Like Halsey, Keys, yeah. Mackie and this, betrayed this him. Whole, this whole <laughs> this mix Mac right this mixture of betrayal just continuously leads Chief uh, closer and closer to mm-hmm. yeah, Cortana. Yeah. Their like their connection is growing, which is which is really good to see. Um, speaking of Mackie right. betraying him, it's interesting because he also knows like because he was watching the footage of what happened with Mackie in the scene, you know, before yeah. they're like trying to figure out where the yeah. planet is, and oh, that's when we see Parangoski mm-hmm. because Parangoski is like, you trust her, chief, and it was like, yeah, she she yeah. trusted me and I trusted her. Like he knows that you guys. For, for, uh, uh, he made a comment though. He's like, for, well, yeah, for, like a, for a short amount of time, <laughs> we trusted each other, and then you guys. Messed I thought that it was up. a bang joke. I mean, I took it as a banging <laughs> joke. That's probably that's how that's I, probably that's how I took silver it. timeline canon chief is taking we, jokes about we banging. Trust, we trusted. We trusted. You know, she trusted me for. A few oh, minutes. speaking of which, I just I just wanna I just wanna plug myself my my TikTok again here. Did you see my video where I was where was the clip of John get, fighting the Spartans, and the caption I put was, uh, yeah, John getting clapped harder than Mackie's cheeks. Yeah, <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. Yeah, people people really people really Ooh. either did not like yeah. it or loved it. Uh, I, I saw I saw an article titled. Congrats on the sex, Chief. It's been twenty I mean, years. You it deserve was, it. <laughs> it, it. It's <laughs> it's been it's been a long time yeah, coming for yeah. this guy. I think I, I, that being said, I do think the majority of like like from well, I don't want to say the majority because I don't know, but um, like I think the consensus generally is like not everybody hated it, but it like I think th- like the the two yeah. of us were like it's just like kind of weird, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it could have been done in such a different way, but that's how they went. And maybe it's maybe it's because Paramount Plus thinks that their viewers yeah. are stupid, and this is the only yeah, way yeah. people can they, connect. They have to have sex, or else it doesn't make sense. <laughs> you know, right? Or, or <laughs> yeah. else it doesn't make sense. But speaking of Maggie again, doing. we get the scene on I guess quote unquote the, the Covenant homeworld, which again, like mm-hmm. whatever. Um, but yeah. You, are you talking about Not the, CGI? the CGI? Because I didn't, I didn't hate it. Or is that where you're going to go? This because I'm going to comment about because it. Because I, there. the main thing that I noticed immediately was the elite zealots being like game, game mm-hmm. accurate, which was really cool to see. I love the elite zealots. They look yeah. so cool. Now here's, here's, here's the only thing. I, I, I agree with you. The accuracy was really awesome, but I feel like all the CGI for the elites, for even the structures, the for the for like the, mm-hmm. the, the location, everything was like two steps down, and then you get to the prophets, and they're like crisp yeah, because I <laughs> CGI. Don't think the prophets are CGI. I think I think we we touched on this previously, but somebody said in one of my comments and then we oh, looked it up right. after the fact but i think i don't know if it's a mix i assume it's a mix 
but I think they might be part practical. Okay, I'm well not then that would sure, make more they sense. They look so good. Yeah, yeah. I, I it, 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 especially when we got to the point where we were, we were seeing the the prophets, you know, face to face. That's that's really where it stood out to me, and I was like, oh, I mean, I, you know, I, I can, I can accept it. We're we're looking at aliens on another planet, and I guess, but yeah, that's they they kind of threw me a little bit with this with the cgi yeah. on these yeah scenes. it's just like it's just like because the first episode looked really good in my opinion other than like a couple of shots yeah, the elites in the first episode looked it looked really good really good this yeah that whole area yeah. like i do i like the environment i like the I aesthetic don't... of the environment it looks like yeah. it was pulled from the games but like yeah yeah something's off something's off they didn't do a great job um, something's off with that specifically yeah. it's almost like they did this scene yeah. first and then they learned as they went on and then the first episode's cgi was yeah. better yeah and then they really turned yeah, it up yeah. for the first um, episode right which is possible um but it's i like this possible, little part yeah. like as mackie's delivering the relic um i've been waiting for this but like she delivers the relic mm -hmm. and she's like i brought you the relic and then the one prophet is like <laughs> You also promised us the demon's head. What's what's oh, oh, yeah. what's up, <laughs> yeah. Mackie? She, she what's what's up? Where's she's, the head? She's like, have My I gal? not given you enough? And then she's like, am I able yeah. to come on the great journey with you? And they're like, of course, child. Are you able to come on the <laughs> great journey so with us? You know, <laughs> weird man. Um, <laughs> I know. I don't know. Are well, you? you know I don't know. Coming. Can you? You knew it was coming. Can you come with? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Can you I guess we'll find us? out. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it felt like. Yeah. That's what it felt like. They're like, of course, yes. If that's, that's what, what you, you want. want. <laughs> I, really, I, really, I really like that question or that, that, yeah. that, uh, that response. I mean, if that's what you want, like, what yeah. the hell am I doing? And this, this happens a little bit later, but we'll just talk about it now since we're talking about Mackie and the Prophets. But finally, we, we get the official validation of, like, the thing that you should have been able to infer, but a lot of people can't seem to infer that she is not respected in the slightest by the prophets oh, they're literally not, like right. i think you she's human yeah. she's beneath they, us like finally yeah. we can get rid of yeah. her yeah they yeah they and they they talk about like the, the race like you know it's like it's like not a pure you know to have her on the planet and to have to, you know, like she's uh she's like mm -hmm. trash around them and and like like you said you should have been able to pick up on that and you know people getting mad that a, that a human's working with the uh with with uh the the, the prophets but i'm pretty sure you mentioned this early Bro, on i mentioned it said, when i saw it in the trailers um, you know like it's like it's like right, obvious right, that it was she's probably most yeah, likely like, being <laughs> like it's yeah. like that's clearly the fact but yeah. thank god they, they like might physically have, said it finally yeah they right and she for a very long time may have thought she was you know she was raised yeah. by them essentially so she very well may have thought yeah, she no, was she, part of it but she also she also started to you know started to leave those little breadcrumbs mm -hmm. of of doubt like when she spoke to the yeah. um yeah, to yeah. The elite, she remember? knows like she's aware that she's not 100 percent accepted yeah. because she's human but right. that so doesn't mean that she's coming, not like this was, i mean obviously this was a good we scene. see at this point that that after what happened on the base yeah they said yeah, they're gonna they, burn her they were like they were like <laughs> making fun of her because she was like dressing up yeah. in fancy, you know, the fancy ceremonial clothes, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> "Look at her getting ready yeah. for her own sacrifice." To, what a stupid so human! Stupid. What an idiot! Yeah. And I was like, I was like, Ugh. like I feel what bad for dummy. Mackie, you know? Yeah, and yeah, um, now I feel bad. But that's fine. So, so, so that's essentially that like scene getting ready or whatever. And then we see Chief like flying through. He's he like has a little bit of heart to heart with Cortana, mm -hmm. which is good to see. Like she's kind of like he's like, why yeah. didn't you do it before? And like we get like more of a connection yeah. with Chief and Cortana, which is which is good, which is yeah. what everybody wants to see to a certain extent. Right. Um, and and she's explaining to him again what the what 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 her purpose of of being implanted into him right right, does, right. Is, yeah is she does one of the moments where she talks she kind of like tells him I'm, i was actually supposed to take over your body yeah. completely and mm -hmm. yeah she explains you know. to him that that was like why like her prime directive was to right. eventually completely take over john like that was halsey's intention but she chose right. not to right because surprise surprise because. the theme of the entire mm -hmm. season has been john the discovering reason why these helmets the reason why the helmets off. keep coming off is because the entire overarching theme of the entire first season 
has been, we hate Quan, and <laughs> we <laughs> and John has been discovering his humanity. So we're touching on it again, and, and Cortana's like, I've seen you fight yes. for it, I've seen you fight for it, and I believe it's yeah. worth fighting for, and I don't want to take it from you. Right, what Halsey thinks is a... Right, what Halsey thinks is is a downfall. I see it being why what makes exactly. you so special. Yeah, is literally exactly. like Halsey views humanity as a weakness. While meanwhile, I see it they're as a, in the ship that's like yeah. Meanwhile, apart. their ship is getting spaghettified. <laughs> and I like again, again. This oh yes, yeah, I have this. What does that mean? What, what does that mean? <laughs> I love Vanek, bro. What does that mean? <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten he's in like, if I knew. He's like, he's like, Vanek, like, I need your help. All right, chief. He's like, I love Vanek, man. Like, no question asked. Gets in, has to hear this whole thing about getting <laughs> spaghettified. But here's one thing I wanted to mention. Here's one thing I wanted to mention about the Spartans and the difference between chief and every other Spartan. If you go back and you watch, and I noticed this, and I don't know if they were doing this on purpose or not, but what I what I had picked up from the scene is they did face shots of Vanek driving or or you know at the front of the ship and and chief Vanek was drenched in sweat freaking out while he's going through this you know wormhole mm -hmm. or whatever they're going through chief did not have a bead of yeah, sweat man. on him and he just got his ass whooped yeah, by two Spartans chief is he just got his ass whooped by two Spartans, got on this ship, went, you know, is going to this alien planet. This dude, this is, this is why, why he's, he's the master, he's chief. The master he chief. He might not be the strongest. He might not be the quickest. He might, you know, the, the other Spartans might have so many other qualities that he doesn't have. But this is why he's the master chief. This guy, literally not a drop of sweat going through this whole thing. Having a whole complex conversation with Cortana. Meanwhile, Vanek is about to pass out. <laughs> And is yeah. sweating buckets, and re literally vocalizing mm. his regret. <laughs> like you've never, you've never heard a Spartan vocalize their regret. Yeah. You know, this guy is still pilled. He still has the suppressor, and he's he's in that chair saying, oh, "You know, I wouldn't have come if I <laughs> yeah, knew this, this is was this happen. is stupid, chief. Why, why are we doing this?" <laughs> that dude was scared. <laughs> the, speaking of which, speaking of the the interactions between the the Spartans and like the like being cold versus not cold or whatever, I forgot to I forgot to mention the one part. I really liked it when when Kai was like, "Were you guys really going to shoot me?" And and they're both like, "Oh yes, yes. yeah." <laughs> the banter <laughs> he's like, yeah. and, the, and he's like damn you yeah, guys are so like, cold and then and then they're like yeah well, were you gonna you were gonna shoot us weren't you and he's and she was like yeah but at least i would have felt bad about it <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that was great i'm telling you these this spartan interactions have been just 100 percent so entertaining to watch that is exactly what I wanted to, to see in mm -hmm. like a Halo series. Like I, that's that's the type of Spartan interaction I wanted. I wanted to get to know Chief more. I wanted to get to know some Spartans more. But like, that is exactly that, like that little moment. You feel like you're a part of the team. Yeah. You know, you can feel the camaraderie with this. Yeah, yeah. Silver yeah. Team. And any any of these scenes where the the Spartans are interacting have been great. Like like just just straight up great. Yeah, absolutely. Um, even when they're fighting. <laughs> So Even there was this fighting, whole scene, right? the the whole scene, again, I had the same problem with this scene as I had with the, like, asteroid belt scene. A lot of, a lot of commentary on the Halo show has been, like, it's generic sci-fi with a Halo skin. And while I yeah. don't 100% agree with that sentiment, because I do think that there's a lot of yeah. Halo lore that's being put into it and Halo background that's being put into it and, like, overarching, like, universe it's things like this because it's like it's like our ship's falling apart we're getting spaghettified we have to make sure we're on the right route like everything's everything's setting on fire like like yeah. that's like it's it's like it's sci-fi one-on-one <laughs> you know you can't have a sci-fi show without a scene yeah where your ship is falling apart you know it yeah, was cool right. because it was in like right. this like yeah they no, did it, was, it was job, it was fine i with like the like the like the air all <clears throat> yeah yeah no it was interesting like you know, when they the, the yeah exactly like with, and... it, they made it they gave it a little bit of a twist off of just the like just typical thing of like you know we're going down hard or whatever like like whatever it is and, they, yeah. and it's because they're in like these gravity wells or whatever and like 
Kai was like falling yeah. to the back of the ship because the gravity was wonky and like it was it was cool it was cool and like Kai was like <laughs> oh also hold on hold on I just remembered what was so, so, I don't remember what the scene was but did or when when it happened I, I think it might have been when they were preparing the 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 ship they kept dropping the, the grenades and shit I on don't the floor. know what that, that was about because they did that so many what times. What was that? They did that so many times, and yeah, I noticed they, that too. I don't understand what was happening. I, I, it was before they got on, right? It, it was before they got on the ship, though. They right, they were preparing to leave, and like Vanek or Riz or somebody like no, threw I a think, grenade or I think it was when, it and, and Kai picks I'm it up. I'm pretty sure it was when they were starting to shake around. I think, but I do remember the interaction with the with the grenades, and I was like, "Wow, this yeah. seems highly unprofessional." <laughs> like, yeah. it's it's, uh, and I'm curious. I'm curious if that's to show the difference between a pilled Spartan, and I'm saying pilled because they got that little chip in their back. No, I know what you mean. Yeah, you know, a, a Spartan that's got the suppressor and a Spartan that doesn't, because the ones that don't, the ones that do have the suppressor, it doesn't. They don't seem phased by anything, and a grenade like. You know, a, a grenade visibly dropping on the ground. You, me, Kai, we all were like, what the fuck? You know, like, why? Did, what the hell? What was yeah. that? But the other Spartans aren't, are, they're kind of just like tossing grenades around like it's, you know, they don't yeah, give a shit if it goes Just casually. Off. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. That was, that was just bizarre. Very <laughs> that was very, yeah, that was a very odd scene. I was one of those scenes where I was like, I'm trying to understand why we're, it, there's a reason. You know, there's a reason, but I'm trying. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe it's to show the the difference in smartness. Maybe, but again, this um, is like this is like one of those things like where, where you and I, I feel like specifically, I, I don't want to say specifically because I'm sure there's other people out there that do this exact same thing. But like as far as like Halo Halo coverage goes, uh, I feel like you and I specifically assume that there's a reason for everything, and we will kind of kind of like figure out what that reason is. For, and most of the time, yeah, like, like there is a right. reason. But like some of the times, it's like yeah. I some of the times I can't figure. <laughs> I honestly can't figure out the reason. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, like that's that's the and best like, I got. We try, that's like we try I can, to make you know, things. Last. I just don't want to. Yeah, I, I don't want to hate. It. Like I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to hate on a grenade falling on the ground because there's nothing to hate about it. But there's just like it, as far as storytelling goes, I'm not really sure confused, why that yeah. was there, what the point of it was. I'm confused. But like yeah, I I guess I I guess we're we're looking for a reason rather than to just be like oh that sucks <laughs> show's yeah, gonna exactly. fail episode nine grenade fell on the ground shows yeah, fa shows yeah. Gonna fail. yeah exactly exactly <laughs> so so we get through this this scene and it was cool i kind of was expecting because they had just previously talked about it i was expecting since i guess i mm -hmm. don't really understand how it works um i was almost expecting chief to be like cortana take control you know and because cortana was like kind of kind of helping right. him steer or whatever but then when Cortana starts mm -hmm. to get, like, fuzzy when there's, like, interference or whatever, he, yeah. I assume, uses his connection to either Mackie or the Relic to figure out where to go. Um, and and yeah. get through. Well, she, she did... I think she... I think Cortana did make a comment that all they had to do was stay exactly in the lane. Yeah, they were no, in. no, no. She, she says hold this line, but, like, they're, they're shaking around so much that it's, like, it's, like, I... And, and they made a point to, like, you're right, you're right. It is possible, like, I think I, I'm, you... I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm willing to bet Chief kept his damn hands in the same position the You entire know what, you're probably flight. right. Because I took it as, as he was, like, because falling. Because that guy wasn't there was, breaking up yeah, fucking there was like a There was, like, a dramatic scene where it, like, showed him closing his eyes and, and, and like, opening them up. And I, I was personally taking that as his like he was following his connection to the relic but i think you're no i think you're right oh. i think you're right because i think instead yeah. it was meant to signify again john and cortana getting closer or like or like yeah, like the trust the trust exactly. he's, it's like cortana yeah, said hold yeah, this he's line like, i you need know, to if trust I, if her I listen to her so yeah. i'm going to continue to try right. even though even though it looks like we're about to explode she said hold this line i'm going to hold this line yeah. because i officially trust cortana. i'm going to hold these damn Controls. Right, right. No, right. no, you're right. Yeah, that's that was that was good insight. I, I completely agree with you. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. There, were, after after like we see all Trust of this, me, John. there was like a little. I really like this scene, but there was a 
a scene where Miranda is like going in to interrogate Halsey, who they who they've since captured from the escape pod. Yeah, and Miranda. Mm-hmm. Th- this is the Miranda from from the games. This is like cool. Like like she's she's like she like doesn't even care, man. She just like she's just like yeah. You're getting put to death. <laughs> she's like she's like they said they said <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we we had a trial for you. Um, I already know the verdict. Would you like to know? Yeah. We're going to kill you. I wanted oh, to be the one uh, to tell yep. you myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was like I was like, damn, mm-hmm. Miranda, you, you, oh man, you yeah. are cold hearted, and I yeah. love to see it. She, she's over yeah. her shit. Yeah, yeah. she. Was, I, I compared her to Bambi previously, but like, she's the hunter about to shoot oh. Bambi's ball. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then immediately yeah. though, we we get the scene where Halsey's like like convulsing, and like she connects the dots right. that Halsey replaced yeah. herself. Which 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 also I. Also, I, I'm like I'm a little disappointed in myself Me that I didn't too. see it coming. But like, you caught you got caught got off uh, caught I got, got caught off guard, guard too. too. I was like I was like damn Halsey, Halsey is yeah, one like, step ahead, like, if are, not two steps chances? ahead of every yeah. single thing. And I was like damn yes. Halsey, you are so good. Like I like yeah. I, I as damn much it, as I hate her, good. I was like I was like oh my god, that's good. That was really yeah. really good. Yeah. I was not expecting that's that. The, the old, old switcheroo, switcheroo. <laughs> and I was like oh that's what the package was. Fool me once, although <laughs> fool me <laughs> fool twice. me right. seventeenth times. <laughs> but I don't know. I like I don't really understand. Like I don't know how. I would I would have liked to see um, somebody somebody posted a comment on on one of my videos where they were talking about like they would have liked to see um, how how that happened um, like like the escape yeah because because the package was on the big right. ship and then she escaped there right. might be there might be like some sort of indicator in the thing that I missed but like I wonder if like the clone was on the escape pod with her and she like let the clone loose or was she the clone the whole time and the real Halsey was in the pack like like I, yeah although I can I'm infer, sure in the first episode of season two we're gonna get that whole like explanation of the the old Houdini trick that Halsey pulled which again I'm surprised we didn't kudos see to that you coming. Halsey you God you bamboozled it. us you you. <laughs> You bamboozled. Oh my god! We, we've been officially bamboozled by Halsey for the fiftieth time. <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> oh, speaking of speaking of season two, um, did you know that they're changing showrunners in season two? I think it, no. I, I, I no, don't I know didn't. if it's. I think we talked about it previously, where after the however many episodes were made, they they changed directors or whatever. Um. But there's going to yeah. be a new person in charge of season two, so I'm hoping that the th- oh, things that we don't like, like maybe maybe because we saw that like transition from like kind of weird Quan storyline to like a little more cohesive towards yeah. the end, maybe that will be more of an indicator yeah. of what to expect in season two. Like hopefully it'll only get better as time goes on. Yeah, I would if if they want to take a note. I would get that story told as soon as possible and just let the rest of the series be what the people want to watch. I don't, I don't know if any new viewers are like as invested in the Quan story and the Soren stories, but like if I, you know, if I was the showrunner, I would, I would try Mm. to tell that story as like literally second episode, just give it to the, give it to Quan, give it to Soren, you know, explain that whole thing. Then give me more Chief Cortana, Silver yeah. Team, all I that. I just like for all, for as many as I wouldn't be as surprised, honestly, if we went through all of season two without seeing Mar- or Quan and Soren at all, because I think I was I was I was looking at a no, no I know, but to, I was looking at an interview. They have to they have to touch. I think on they it. will eventually, but I was looking at an interview where it was uh, Kiki Wolfkill, you know the the lady in charge of yeah. three four three, yeah, um, mm-hmm. and she was discussing that kind of that story arc, and she was talking about it being like we want to see them, we want to see them connect in the future, 
but we're thinking about it more of a multi-season arc and i don't know if that's her way of kind of like brushing under Mm. the rug we're kind of going to forget about kwan for a little while and then maybe like will yeah the only obviously we have to tie back into it because we made it a thing yeah we have the portal now so we have to we have to connect with them again they have to do it Um, they've already kind of like dug a hole that's what i'm they dug a, a mystical well for themselves a mystical literally a mystical well and and if if possible get that connection out of the way as quickly as possible and i promise you the season will be w- well received once people forget yeah, that episode Kwan, happened like i don't like i don't want to like like fixate on it and i know kwan had nothing to do with this episode yeah but i can't get over it. we'll talk about it more in our yeah. entire season review but like without the kwan yeah. storyline i know that there are people out there that do appreciate the idea of an in like a like a storyline about the insurgents or or the rebels or whatever it's called in the halo universe um right yeah and i can like i can can appreciate it but it wasn't done it just wasn't it just wasn't doing it for me right it wasn't it wasn't it just wasn't it didn't feel like it was done well like you said so so after that whole scene with halsey we we were we're back we get we get the the sizzle the sizzle scene that should have been a sizzle scene but Mm -hmm. i think both you and i like i I, it was good like i like the concept of it so we the first shot was awesome yeah where you know they're they jump from orbit out of the the condor and they like do that like halo Mm -hmm. five sick like jumping in landing superhero landing on top yeah. of the sleeping grunts and they're armor like lock. armor lock yeah <laughs> they're on top of the sleeping grunts and they're yeah. like just like i does he, he does say, say a one-liner? one-liner i think he says good afternoon well i'm pretty sure that's what he said he's like good afternoon which i mean yeah. hilarious but like i did like that yeah that little it brought back it like gave me the nostalgia tingles because seeing like the sleeping grunts and like going mm-hmm. through the sleeping grunts like yeah. killing them while you're being sneaky and just like beating I, shit I love yep. that I really really yep. like that popping and off the mask and is like yep. picking up like the needler and he's like come to daddy <laughs> oh come to daddy yeah <laughs> dude that guy is my favorite yeah, I love I love that guy and then they start setting up the relic and it I guess calls to John in the same way that it calls to Mackie and it like kind of like dazes him and then mm-hmm. they're spotted and then they start fighting um yeah I, like they they they're fighting for a little while and it like they the whole scene was cool because I think there was a lot of like little aspects of the games and it's like it like it's like bringing back this mm-hmm. like feeling of hey yeah they oh. yeah that's exactly what I what I how I felt like that like they kept interchanging this uh, this combat and uh, kind of kind of giving you that game version of it that you 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 know you 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 potentially right. started watching right, right, the right. series for. and it's they did that well I will say the concept of it well like it did feel like the Halo the game. concept yes however the second that the yeah. it's, it's exactly like what you were talking about before the second that Spartans begin to interact entirely cgi with another mm-hmm. brute or lead or whatever it is entirely yeah. cgi it looks yeah legitimately bad like like it looks really it's so it's just so different from the movement that you're that you're seeing from the actors in armor and it it's just, really it's hard. hard to like like and i it's hard to sit there and believe that the transition yeah. was and what's, fluid what's funny is that they know it too like in the in the interview that i was referring to with kiki um, she says herself, she's mm-hmm. like, she's like, previously, like people are people are comparing CGI to like what they saw in the games, and like there's a difference in making an entirely CGI animation like a game look real mm-hmm. when interacting with other CGI aspects and having like right live action and CGI. Like it's it's incredibly difficult, yeah. which is true. It's incredibly difficult to make CGI look oh, yeah. without treading yeah. into that uncanny valley, valley territory. It's right. an, it's it's very difficult yeah. to make it look. But look, good. Be- before before we, before we go on more about like how off it felt, the fact that they they went with they mm-hmm. tried it anyways, I can give them like mad props for because although it kept it, you know you you had to really just let go during that scene and enjoy it for what it was. You know you had to really just let it not 
not be too picky with what you're seeing because you just had to accept it wasn't going to be perfect because they went they they, they gave, gave you us a, a lot, lot of of action from you know of, of spartan action and i think i think the, the the lack of fluidity between the the real life and the cgi and you know like it the transitions were a little weird but man they, yep, gave, they, they really did it, they really did know? and i like so. i like the scene in general i wasn't a huge fan of the um minds of moria hordes of elites that came out of the caves i guess yeah. um <laughs> minds of moria <laughs> they've got yeah cave i did drill, like i right? did like how yeah, cortana's yeah. like they seem to be coming there's hundreds of them but they seem to be coming in waves and it was like okay video game nice i like that yeah um video game, and i'm right? a little like mm -hmm. That I, I don't think moving on in, into season two, I hope that they don't show as many first person shooting things because because after like it was yeah. cool in the first episode is like a little like Easter egg or whatever. But like yeah. e each additional time starts to get like more and more like I don't like yeah. it looks weird. It looks like doom. Well, maybe you not know from, you remember that movie? Maybe right. But maybe maybe not from Chief because from Chief it's. I don't know. You want to you want to see Chief in action. You don't want to see the action through Chief yeah. necessarily, mm -hmm. uh, aside from playing the game. But when they when they did the they transitioned into into other um, Spartan perspectives, and that I actually I I I think I think I could bear it a little more be with the CGI because it felt like I was watching mm -hmm. like a cinematic mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. game. No, I agree. I agree. That, that makes sense. I do like how every time they showed like the inside of the spartans helmets like the the iron man effect how yeah they give that little layout yeah the UI, and they had whatever. like the original halo ce health bar you remember yeah and like you can see and it the like sounds of like, yeah the yeah the sounds and everything and all been, that. like really really good but you can see like their health yeah. get like lower and lower which is which is so funny yeah. to me that they like oh, yeah, incorporated that's, that's that because it's like yeah. it's like such an unrealistic thing yeah. but it is true to the halo yeah. games it's well, really but, cool but but every single person that's a Halo player has yeah. experienced it because you have experienced your health bar dropping and you've experienced yourself not having shield. Mm -hmm. You know, like you've seen you've seen that perspective for yeah. decades. Yeah. And it was a really cool fight. Like it was like I liked seeing them fight the brutes. I liked seeing like Kai get like yeah <laughs> as as goofy as it looked because again we we've, we've already covered like the issue with the Spartans moving, but like the just yeah. like the 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 hulk and loki like slam thing that they did like just completely yeah. demolishing oh, yeah. kai no that you, you well that was riz, riz, riz? I believe. it wasn't that I, th I think riz riz like was like don't worry chief i'll get him to the brute I, I'm one of them one again Is one of them gets about? floored i'm not i'm not 100 percent. i'm pretty sure because at the end of the day they all get some, floored they get their they get their ankle grabbed and yeah they get their shit split open <laughs> several times yeah and like and it was it was cool to see like the interaction between like like things getting worse and worse for them um and then mackie in an attempt to save john because he's fighting who i even more believe apparently it says in the subtitles at this point i i, I wasn't watching with subtitles but apparently it says in the subtitles that that big brute that we were talking about potentially being mm -hmm. atriox is in fact atriox um yeah. He's oh, fighting okay. Atriox, right. and they do like the helmet crack, which I thought was a nice little like. I don't know if I would. I guess yeah, it's I considered an Easter egg, but I loved that they had the helmet crack. Yeah, there are going to be people upset yeah. because that's not how he gets it in canon. But whatever, it's still cool. I love it. You get you get you the get crack, the damn which crack. is still cool. And then Mackie like touches the relic to, you know, mm -hmm. save him because he's about to get murdered by Atriox because Atriox is a beast in yeah. every way shape and form and yeah. they they connect oh, yeah. with each other on the halo and <laughs> he's like Mackie you gotta you gotta like bring <laughs> us out you gotta bring us out and she's like no John I'm gonna yeah, stay here let us go because she's completely lost it yeah <laughs> like I, again I feel bad oh yeah for her oh yeah yeah well she every 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 person yeah has no I completely understand point. where she, she's coming you know, from like it's it's like do or die at this point for her so yeah. i get it but yeah i feel i, do I feel, feel legitimately bad. bad for her because because of everything that she's gone through like she's clearly like done worse like she's been to betrayed be by everybody like mm -hmm. i'm gonna stay here in this beautiful heaven place she's about to get eaten, by, to a get eaten aliens, by a bunch of aliens you know. you know, humans <laughs> won't want to take her and and then and then 
I think it's Kai. I don't know. I, I don't remember who. I th I'm pretty sure it's Kai. It's Kai. But Kai... I think Kai yeah, is the one Kai that Kai shoots shot, her yeah. to kind of snap John out of it because they need help. Um, yeah. And I did like... It was very reminiscent of... You remember in The Matrix when it's like, not like this. God damn you, oh, Cypher! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, mm -hmm. she, yeah, and she's like Cypher. looking down and she sees the blood and then, and then they like get pulled out. And Kai is like, I'm sorry. Because she knows, she knows that like Chief is like still connected to yeah. her. Yeah, well, but she's, Chief gets it, I think. Yeah, she could. She's probably the only one yeah, that can understand. Yeah, but Chief it. understands. Like, like being being in that scenario, yeah. Chief understands. And they're currently surrounded yeah. by death and destruction. Uh, right. Riz and gets plas of. gets freaking stickied, which was again, yeah. it was it's cool to see the plasma grenades, but it's like yeah, like I don't know, like everything has been so so pretty yeah. like pretty accurate yeah. at least in aesthetics. I don't know why they're. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what it was with. Yeah, I don't know what what it was about that scene, but I I watch. I rewound it and what or I rewinded, it, re rewound, rewound. I, I I went back to watch mm -hmm. it. Rewound. <laughs> I watched it twice, and both times I was like, Yeah, eh. yeah, yeah. Because like <laughs> because like they're setting up this like that like everybody's dying around him, freaking freaking saving Private yeah. Ryan scene, but it just like isn't doing it because like yeah. half the time you don't feel connected because they don't look r real, you know. And it's like, and, and yeah. you're in such a, and like, you know that they're going, like, at least some of them are going to make it out. And like, you're not 100% sure what's going on mm -hmm. because they're really getting like wrecked after a certain point. And like, mm -hmm. there's like, hop, I, 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 <laughs> even though when Mackie touches the relic, like a huge amount of the elites get knocked off the side of the mountain. Like you also know yeah. that there's like still yeah, thousands how, coming. Uh, so it's like, perfect. I don't know. The yeah. whole, it was, it was just very. Dude, they got black. They didn't get just knocked off, bro. They, yeah, they, they got, got sent, sent flying. flying. <laughs> but I guess it's to set yeah. up what huge, the huge twist. I don't, like. I don't know if it's a twist or yeah. I, I don't know. Like I don't know how to describe it. But like the biggest moment in the entire. Well, I honestly didn't, didn't see that part. I if, I if, if didn't being, think no. that it was going to be done in the way I'm, that it was. And he's like he's like trying yeah. to force her to. To, to elaborate what we're talking about, Cortana or John is trying to convince Cortana to take him over because he knows that like yeah. Cortana, she's the only one that can do all the tasks right. that need to get done right. efficiently. Because exactly. he has to save his team, he has to pack the relic, he has to get everybody out of there, and and John is like Cortana, take yeah, the Cortana wheel. Cortana, take the <laughs> <You know>? wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Cortana, take yeah, the that's wheel. That's gonna be the name of the episode, I think. Cortana take the wheel. <laughs> Cortana take the wheel. <laughs> but but yeah, so they they had to set up like the hopelessness to make it feasible that he's going to be like Cortana, yeah. like you need to do this. And like even then, he's yeah. like, I didn't like. I how don't. They went I into don't. It, because though. he kind of like he like he was hurt, but he wasn't like completely messed up. And but then he like starts slow walking yeah. towards Atriox. Yeah, like, to and I do death. like I made a I made another yeah. uh, video about that today, but. He lifts his gun and he shoots Atriox in the face, which gives him like the signature Atriox yeah, awesome. um, scar, yeah. um, which I thought was a nice little mm -hmm. touch. But yeah, it was just yeah. like I don't agree. I can dig it with how they did it either because like, like I understand that you're trying to like like force Cortana to do it because she doesn't want to do it, so you're putting yourself in harm's way. Yeah. But like, it's also just like really dumb because you like you literally walked to the greatest threat on the battlefield and he yeah. almost killed you yeah. i guess technically did kill you because he was dead mm -hmm. um i guess yeah and that's they they had um they had made that comment too like on the way there didn't didn't cortana say that like essentially you will be you you have john has to yeah go, but even then i know? didn't even understand what that like that what that really meant at the time because i like i assumed I, it meant i like, understood that he had to die in order for her to assume control. See, I didn't get that. I didn't. I didn't really connect those yeah. dots because I thought it was going to be the same as her, like switching it on and off. Like he would yeah. be like dead in That's the sense that. That's probably why like, I didn't see it coming. It would like suppress him, but it wouldn't like completely like overwrite yeah. him. You know, so it was very surprising to yeah. see. Like I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring you back. Which, please. Yeah. Like, I have my. <laughs> I have my. Uh, you do on this on like how they're going to bring him back yeah 
on how like yeah what like how that that whole thing is okay. going to play out. So so we'll t- we'll we'll cover that. Um so yeah. Anyway, so she she saves him by well, I guess saves him technically by interacting with him which revives him and she's mm-hmm. now him and yeah. he becomes yeah. <laughs> he becomes master chief. The master chief that all these yeah, these he becomes the people master want, chief, right? Which mm-hmm. is like a voiceless yeah. killing machine. Um yeah. Yeah, just doesn't miss yeah. a damn shot. And and know. that was a cool scene. Like it was cool to see like the integration between yeah, Cortana was. and Chief. Yeah, and he was, he was scary. scary though. He was very, scary. Very very scary. Um, but then but then something that like really irked me, as well was how, you know he like she's efficiently killing the <clears throat> the Covenant, but mm-hmm. the thing that saves them at the end of the day is that she remote controls the Pelican down. To like right. to like use the guns on yeah the covenant yeah like where, where was, was that, that this entire like, time tw- t- like twenty minutes yeah ago. it doesn't make any sense like like that's what like when people talk yeah. about like 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 quote unquote bad Issues. writing or whatever on the show's part and they mm-hmm. and they say things like the helmet yeah. thing and like and like whatever nonsense yeah. like Mackie on the like yeah if you want to have a is problem something, you yeah can like have this a is legitimately this. like th- like why why it just yeah. doesn't make sense. Yeah, all you, you you've got all these Spartans that were put in a compromised position. Meanwhile, a Pelican then comes in to essentially yeah. save the it's day. It's just it was bizarre. I don't I don't understand why they chose. To, I understand yeah. like I I get why exa- plot it's armor. plot armor exactly. <laughs> like it's like this needs to happen because of X Y Z. Like the only reason it didn't happen before was because yeah. we needed to see the Spartans yeah. be cool. Well, it, and it and it does exactly what <clears throat> Cortana or what like every, it, it it hit <clears throat> every check needed. It. Uh, Spartan team saved relics can be touched mm-hmm. now because right. John's right, right. gone, you know, like, yeah, yeah, it's just like, yeah, they checked off all the, the things that they needed to check off to like neatly, neatly package yeah. it away. So, so they all escape, right? Um, and it's very strange to me the way that Chief is acting as Cortana or Cortana's acting as Chief because not only does she not speak, um, presumably you think that mm-hmm. she would either be able to transmit herself through like as Cortana through his speakers or whatever I'm sure he yeah. has some sort of radio frequency that he communicates with or yeah. at the very least yeah, like she speak, speak as them, right? chief um, John but like a like a, yeah, like but a drone the way that like, she was you know. like acting is like not the way that Cortana acts as a computer so why would she act that way as yeah. a hu- like you know what I mean like like uh, yeah, she's pilot. Well, I, the way I assumed it, or the way I I took that whole scenario, because I because I I agree, like that was very strange of how a Cortana controlling chief, you know, would would be. But essentially, she's piloting a dead body. Yeah, like like yeah, yeah. So maybe that's what that's how they were going. Like this lifeless killing, you know, it's 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 the mm-hmm. perfect weapon now. It, Cortana. Cortana's max efficiency is only accessible and and at 100% when she can operate an augmented human that was born and bred to to mm-hmm. kill, you know, to be efficient. Fastest reflexes, you know, biggest, Dick. you know, uh, like, or like, <laughs> like super strong, like super fat, you know, that's the only, that, that that's why Chief was so terrifying to mm-hmm. me. And one thing that I forgot is um, the, uh, I forgot to to elaborate on a little bit was the scene where we get a couple we get a couple of these scenes where you're you you had commented about how Chief in this storytelling the way they describe him is a monster like mm-hmm. the way yeah. he is portrayed as the Master Chief that character is terrifying is a, is a savage yeah, like before killer. before the relic and before right before the relic right it's this character is a savage killer and. And ever since you had commented on that of how the portrayal of Master Chief was, I've been mm-hmm. seeing it more. And when that helmet's on, like like that that's that's also been a reason why I've been able to kind of like get over this helmet stuff is because even uh, what's her name, Perengoski? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that yeah? She, even she makes a comment earlier, and she's like, "When you go there, you J- John has to be gone. Right, yeah, it has to mm-hmm. be the Master Chief that 
takes yeah, care yeah. of this shit. And again, she's like... And then there's another... It's sh- like, remember the, the last uh, Halo chat we did? We talked about how Perengoski is the embodiment yeah. of, of all the the Halo fan yeah, exactly. base exactly. or whatever that alleged right. that, that hates the show. It's like, yeah, you right. need to get rid of this right. nonsensical Johnny Boy and you need to... Yeah, you gotta you get rid of this shit Chief. and, like, no more Johnny Boy. We gotta have yeah. 117. So, so there was a lot of... There were a lot of moments like that where... I was seeing the two it was like it was like Gollum. <laughs> it was like I was seeing the two sides of of Chief. I was seeing the monster when that helmet goes on. It's the savage. It's the savage and then when the helmet's off, yeah. it's the human. No, no, yeah. And that's why it was so scary with Cortana because the, it, he's just he's just a, he's the killer. He's the thing that the, he's the master chief. The people yeah. what the people wanted. Alternatively, I wonder if she was quiet. Like I wonder if we'll see her talking as Chief in season two because you would think that she has to so maybe at this point she's like almost like mourning john like she's kind of being like like she's like um processing her computer emotions you know because even when she gets on the ship Mm -hmm. and like riz is dying and she does like the cauterizing the wound thing and they're like looking at him like Oh my gosh! Like, like it, yeah. it's efficient. Yeah, like, it saved her life, but it was an incredibly brutal thing. To and do. it was, um, yeah. And, and it's yeah. like, it's like, okay, like, but like, but again, that plays into the like whole like Cortana has proven to have sentiment in the last episode. Remember, Halsey was like, you, yeah. you're not supposed to have sentiment, but obviously she does have sentiment. Yeah. And so it's like it was like weird. Yeah. Um, but. Right, I, I, I'm imagining this. This this is a, a version of Cortana that was that's like the true Cortana, the 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 character that was starting to form this like respect for John and like his feelings and his humanity and this and that. That shit's turned off. I think this is the Cortana that was supposed to be implanted into Chief so she's Day like, One. She's like Skynet right now. She's like Skynet. Like, bum, bum, like bum, there's bum, no. Bum. She she's doing. She is she is running the program to its to its max you know like there will be no slip up and that's why it's so scary it's terrifying it's like it's almost like in in halo 5 you know but we'll see like like we'll see if she goes completely off the rails but i hope i hope not one thing that i'm learning about this show is that it's it's going to be a lot more of a slow burn than i anticipated i think like it's going to be a lot more like it's not going to be as i agree seeing like reach falling for example how i thought reach was going to fall yeah. and then we're going to reach the halo ring at the end of this first season it's, it's uh, yeah it's quite possible that's going to be told like as like a side story of like we just missed it and here's like the footage yeah because it's you know? like it's like now they have it's almost like it's almost like avatar the last airbender where it's like every yeah. season they're going to get an yeah. additional piece of the puzzle and then eventually we'll get to the ring yeah and I don't know yeah. if that's going to work in their favor at this point, unless the show starts to get yeah. better and they like cut out some of the some of the parts that like people are not a hundred percent sold on. Right. Because right now well, it's like, well, we did get a bit, we did get a big piece of the puzzle for oh yeah, yeah. for the ring, and that was when that was with the relic and and literally a whole star map was yeah. formed. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that that's like an accessible place. You know what I mean? Like that doesn't mean the UNSC has the technology or the or their 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 current technology could get them there anytime well that's soon. true but you remember I mean? when Mackie gets killed the star map like turns off and it and the prophets were like it wasn't finished you know what I mean it's almost like it's almost like the Star Wars sequels yeah. how they have the how they have almost the entire star map or whatever to find Luke Skywalker but yeah. they don't have the but we need the last piece <laughs> right uh, right so it's like it's like right. there's another reason like this show is going to go on because we need to find the last piece of the star yeah. map or or mm-hmm. or we need to go to magical or, and jump into our little magic well yep and get and yeah, jump yeah, into yeah. the well so that's probably what's going <laughs> to what's going to happen there yeah <laughs> that that that's where i think we're going is that that's going to you know they're going to say oh we don't have the whole piece of the star map and blah 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 and uh Quan's going to be like well 
just just so happens I actually have a doorway. <laughs> yeah, just so. <laughs> oh, you're looking for this? I I just, just popped so out for oh, groceries over there. there? I just, oh. <laughs> just I just jumped through yeah. the well and I. I just told that was the gate. That I just was given the key to the door. Yeah, actually, yeah. how convenient! <laughs> how convenient for you guys. Mm -hmm. Um. And then we see. Which, Which makes, makes me, me relevant. relevant. And then we see a little a little snippet of uh, of Halsey writing in her journal talking about, like, humanity's yeah, not ready. Which, which cool. I did really I like, that, like part. that part, too, because that's the exact... Did you did you have the Legendary Edition for Reach? I think you yeah, did, from right? The, yeah, from the... Yeah, from that was the, the exact edition. journal, and I was so psyched mm -hmm. about that. I thought that was yeah, so cool. I, I do, too, too, man. Yeah, that shit was that, really that awesome. That journal was so cool. I was yeah. so happy to see that. Um, yeah. And then, and then yeah. like, another Kiss Kiss Boy version 2.0 comes up. To like to like speed her mm -hmm. on her way or whatever, and I was like a little disappointed. Yeah, happy but disappointed because when I saw like the outfit initially, like my like the first split second of it, I thought it was Kiss Kiss Boy, and I was going to be like, "Damn, there's really? two Kiss Kiss Boys too!" Damn it, they. <laughs> yeah, this 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 woman is just cloning everybody left and right. <laughs> yeah, God damn exactly. it. <laughs> Just because you can, Just because doesn't, you mean can you should, doesn't mean you right? should, especially with Kiss Kiss Boy. <laughs> I saw somebody, especially uh, speaking Kiss of Kiss Kiss Boy. Kiss Boy, I saw somebody comment on one of my TikToks where they were like, if I hear Kiss Kiss Boy one more time, it was one of the people that doesn't like my content, but it was like, if I hear Kiss Kiss Boy yeah. one more time, and it just makes me laugh because I love talking about Kiss Kiss Boy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not going to be talking about him no, bring him anymore. No, I'm bringing I'll, I'll rest in peace. He's got a broke, broke neck. Rest in peace, kiss, kiss, boy. We'll, we'll, we'll respect. Uh, God, God rest. rest. <laughs> in the arms so of an angel. <laughs> okay, but that's. I mean, that's that's our discussion on the entire episode. Yeah. So, you know, that's the discussion. And I, one one thing that I did forget to say about when we first get to the uh, planet is that the scene with the Spartans coming down and getting into the get, getting into the action and hiding behind here hitting the grunt blah 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 that's every single halo player i felt like i felt like i was watching yeah, us like, play halo. legitimately i that's what i'm saying that first scene where they yeah. landed and they were like going through the grunts and they were like sneak sneakily doing it or whatever like yeah <laughs> really good I, I really really enjoyed that i thought that was really yeah. cool um it, it's only the part as soon as they start fighting the brutes specifically because they're doing like all this mm -hmm. like flip stiff it gets a little flip stiff they're doing all mm -hmm. this like flip stuff flip <laughs> around stiff, the yeah. brutes it just stiff. looks wonky and it's like hopefully hopefully it gets yeah. better moving on but like ugh. oh you said that you had a theory on john oh yeah so the, well, yeah it, it, very 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 simple i think because the old freaking switcheroos mm -hmm. <laughs> that halsey has now you know apparently she could just clone things uh -huh. last minute um, my, my, my two theories are, is that we're going to get the pretty standard, like, chief, I was able to, you know, hold onto your consciousness in the back, very depths mm. of your soul, yep. you know, mm -hmm. type of thing that somehow Cortana was able to interact with his consciousness. Like, it's just data, sure. chief, yeah, yeah. you know, totally. like something like that, or, or Cortana backed his consciousness up or, you know, yeah, like, like, you the know same I mean? thing. She, like yeah, she, yeah. she basically did a backup. You know, like like the same thing, but like she put it in a hard drive yeah, on the uh, Pelican. Totally, like, totally, you know? I could totally see that. Like again, because you know, you know, why I could totally see that because that's like a sci-fi trip. You know, it's like a uh, oh right. Uh, and, and also, she keeps talking about why it, it's it makes him so special. She doesn't want to get rid of what she believes now is right. worth mm -hmm. fighting for. But what is that show called that we like on Netflix, where where they're like immortal, and they've got like the chips in their neck. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, altered, uh, altered carbon. carbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. Yeah, and they got yeah. The stack she's got like a little. Spine, she's right? got like a little chip in in her little brain cave. Little of John. Uh, Chief, I put you on this floppy <laughs> I disk. I hope you like it. <laughs> I hope you like it. We'll get you back and up and running in yeah. no time, Chief. And then he like he won't be a human anymore. He'll just be a robot in yeah. Spartan armor, and then he can never take his helmet off, and then everybody will be happy. Right. I also thought when the as to why it might be why a chief might not be speaking with Cortana taking the wheel and what if it's just because like if he like just opens his mouth it's just like a horrific <laughs> screech <laughs> of like data like uh, it's like a dial know, up can't noise vocalize his words or something it's just like <laughs> it's, it's just like you know <laughs> yeah it's just oh, dial up noise. amazing I hope I hope that that's canon we'll find that out in season two um 
<laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, you know what time it is. What is your overall rating it's for for, the, for the episode? My rating, I'm going back between a seven and an eight. I'm gonna give it okay. a seven, only because only because the 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 CGI was a little too cartoony for me, and. Aside from aside from all that, I really, really, really enjoyed the um, the the finale. Uh, the seven also is because we we should have had ten episodes. They should have given us one. They should have just given us one more to connect a couple more dots, and 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 then we could have had the the brawl on the planet. But 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 that aside, yeah, seven seven out of ten is my is my rating okay. for this one. All right, solid, solid score. I think... Oh, man. So, I think... <laughs> you know how it goes. I mean, you know Say how it, it goes. You know, you, you know exactly. Say so, it. so uh, one, out of out of one out of ten... Ronskis. For episode nine, uh, I, 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 I gotta give it a six out of ten. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. Because, like, I, I just I had like, a feeling. And, yeah. and it might be due in part to just me being disappointed, but I do mm-hmm. think that they they just didn't really utilize what they had previously built up to give us a really satisfying yeah. ending. And then of course there was right. Right. the the CGI like looking looking legitimately mm-hmm. not great in this episode, like yeah, it was just, it's just a like goofy. goofiness, like the the mm-hmm. ending where it just like it doesn't make sense what they did in the end as far as like escaping yeah. and like I don't know and and just like right. that's what I'm saying. A, an episode episode ten episode could ten could have given them the extra little episode nine that they needed. Yeah, episode nine could have been the the connecting of a little bit more dots and giving us maybe a little bit more reach and giving us a little bit more you know finishing finishing what yeah. they had built up. And then, episode ten yep. being the I hundred percent agree. I think, but I, I had a feeling. Yeah, you would go with six. and I and I and like I, as I feel like I'm conflicted with all my ratings, but yeah, I think I think six out of ten <laughs> is a fair a fair score. Um, just just judging yeah. by like the legitimately poor writing in some parts. Um, mm-hmm. But hopefully, moving forward, we get it. You don't. Like I, I only like the quant episodes. Yeah, exactly. Um, but hopefully, hopefully, moving forward into season two, like they really find their footing, and you know, whoever this new um, showrunner is, I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. I didn't, I didn't research it, but whoever is taking over for season two, hopefully, they kind of iron out some of these weird wonky parts, and you know, the yeah. CGI will probably get better. Or inst- like seeing the feedback on the CGI, hopefully they decide to do more practical effects because the practical effects, like the that props, the sets, amazing. like everything has been yeah. just yeah, really Lighten really good. The armor, make it make it a little bit rubbery, you know. Make let let them let them you know let them sprint yeah, in like, the armor. Like the the Spartans, I I understand that they're supposed to be super soldiers and they're super fast and they're super strong and like you want them to do like this acrobatic stuff, but like we don't need it like there was the one there's like one scene yeah. of i believe halo 4 the intro cinematic when you see chief kind of do this like backflip thing against a brute and it's very cool like it's very yeah. cool in slow motion yeah. but like there like chief is he- like like there's nothing wrong with having like these heavy fights you know what I mean? Like like Locke yeah. and Chief yeah. in Halo they're, Five. They're remember like, that cutscene? Yeah, they're built like tanks. They don't they don't need to be. Yeah, doing and I know that clips. like I know that like canonically they're very fast. Like they're supposed to be very very fast, but yeah. like they're also built like tanks. So it's like, <laughs> right? But but also Spartans are all different, <clears throat> and so there can be Spartans that are super quick and super you know flippy, but seeing Chief. And this team in particular, you know, it could have been any other Spartan, yeah. I think. But I think I, I think watching Chief like do all these backflips and yeah, and it's interesting you know, to have you. I'm not even sure if he did a. Back it's interesting flip, to but. have you say that though, because a lot of the main feedback of the show, like a, like a lot of the things that I'm seeing people say, and again, we'll probably talk about this more in our overall season review because it'll factor in. But like yeah. a lot of what I'm seeing people say is 
if it wasn't chief, they would be happy with it, which I don't 100% agree with because it doesn't, like, how do you, like, I don't agree with, like, going from absolutely yeah. hating something and refusing to believe any par- portion of it is good, but then also right. going around and saying, so liking it if it, if was it wasn't chief, chief if it I would be perfectly chief. fine with it. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. I understand I the sentiment. I don't know. I would still watch that show 100%. Yeah. Any Halo show, like any Halo show, and I would watch a show about I would watch you know, any Spartans. I'd watch a <laughs> Halo show about ODST. I'd watch a Halo show yeah. about an mm-hmm. elite who was who's like three years old and he's like going to school every yep. day. You know, like I don't like it doesn't even matter. I would mm-hmm. probably watch it, mm-hmm. but like you know, we'll we'll see mm-hmm. moving forward if if they iron yep. out some of the kinks. But I think I think overall, like I'm happy. <laughs> but but keep in yeah, keep I'm happy too. Keep tuned in and because we're going to talk about the entire yeah, season. Stay tuned. I don't know if it's going to be next week. Uh-huh. We might wait until I'm back in the states so that we can like fully fully produce it for yeah. you guys. Get the VR. Um, but that being said, drop a comment, see if your review changed. Let us know yep. what you thought of the episode. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Share us if you know anybody that might like our content. In addition, since this is the last, you know, penultimate episode of Halo Chat, if you know of any content that you would like us to cover in future chats, I think we might be covering Kenobi next. Um, drop it in the comments, because we'd love we'd love to hear what you guys want to see more of. On Halo Chat. We'll see you on, on Halo Chat.